Alright guys, so basically in this video, I just couldn't hold it back. I really wanted to show you guys how good Arthur was. Now he can be better just because you can see in the title and the description um, and stuff like that. This unit is really good in my opinion. Like Arthur is actually one of the better options for having just like a uh, good support unit basically. If you want to have someone who can uh, handle buffs and stuff like that and, and do actually a good amount of damage as well. Uh, so Arthur, I actually do like to use him as well. But we're gonna do an actual like um, like the, one of the boss parts. We're just probably just gonna do this one just to see what's possible with it. Uh, we have 50%. Uh, right, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna turn that on. Uh, we have the half half version right now, so you can actually grind out your grails right now or chalices, whatever you call, you guys call it. Uh, you guys can do that right now. But this unit now he is a red unit, of course. Uh, you personally do want to have good defense on him. Attacking defense is my thing with him. Uh, so. I'm using my Meliodas' gear on him, so that's probably why I'm actually like pushing the attack and defense gear. But for the first attack, as you can see, like if we actually look at him, uh, he's not bad. You know, he could be better. Like I've seen a lot of other people have really good attack stats for him. Uh, but you can see like his one star, two star, and three stars are right here. So basically, if you do his three star first attack, that is going to inflict 360% of this unit's attack to a single enemy, and the target will not be able to use healing skills for two turns. So that's super good. Uh, of course, you guys know that this unit is one of the best units for uh, the new Merlin event. So I'm not going to go into that, but he's really good. Then you have his three star for his support unit right here, the buff, his support unit part. So this buff as a three star cleanses all debuffs on all allies and grants the target's immunity to debuffs for three turns and increase the base stats of all allies by 30% for three turns. So he's a big booster. So super nice to see that he is good for that reason. And then his ult, of course, you can see right there. His ult cuts a single enemy with 506% of this unit's attack. So he got, he does a decent amount of damage as well. So we're going to look into him and just see how much he can do. And then his passive right there. His passive increases the HP-related stats of all human race allies by 15%. So if you have uh, human you know people on your team human race units then it will actually do a lot of healing so really nice to know just because of that but as we can check him out if we put him as a two star for these attacks we'll see just how much he can do um, if we do we'll do Escanor just because I want to show Escanor as well Escanor is crazy like this unit deserves his own like showcasing of its own so I'll probably do that very soon because I just got him level 80 so I'll probably check that check that out really really soon so hopefully I'll probably do that video for tomorrow's video showcasing for him uh, just because he is a level 80 unit 6 star uh, has pretty good gear for what I have it as but uh, I just want to check him out whenever he does um, whenever I do get to that point but we'll boost uh, we'll boost him real quick we'll boost Arthur we'll do that and then we'll just mix these two together so we can get uh, two star attacks from Escanor. As you can see, 36,000, not bad. He's doing a good amount of damage. And then he already has his own buffs on him, as you can see. So the one-star buff, it only does increasing base stats for your for a single ally. So we did for, uh, as you can see, we did it for Arthur, but that's by 20% for two turns. So the next turn, it will be gone. Uh, we did a two-star before as well, and that re uh, increased the base stats of all allies by 20% for two turns. So you saw Gother had those buffs when he had the blue things on him. It's gone now, but as you can see, we still have Arthur's on it because we did the one-star for him after. But we're going to go ahead and check out the boy Escanor real quick with his uh, AoE. So you're going to see right here, AoE attack. Let's just see what he does because I don't have any Arthur cards. But we'll see. Escanor is crazy as well. Look at that. That's crazy. And he can do a lot more. Like, my my gear is, actually isn't even good. My gear for him is not good at all. But another thing is he has 5 out of 6 stars. Or 5 out of 6 uh, SA attack. So that's super good as well. So I'm very excited to see what he can do for damage wise. Uh, let's actually, honestly, uh, we'll see. Okay, so we have a 2 star bus, uh, a bus boost from uh, Arthur right now. So if we use that and we actually attack... We'll just do that just because we don't really have a choice to do with uh, Arthur. But we can see his boost because his boost, like his boost is actually really good. The buff is very am amazing. 202,000. And Escanor can do even more. And this is just like very, very like low attack stats in my opinion. As you can see, Escanor destroys everything that's in front of him. So now we have Arthur's ultimate. So what we're going to do is attack 
uh, Dreyfus just because he has full HP and we'll see how much damage he can actually do because uh, he still has his boost. You can see that he has the boost on himself. Super good to see that. And then we'll move those together. And then, you know what? We'll be very petty and just attack uh, Gustav and see what happens here. 113,000. My boy, Arthur. 137,000. This Escanor and Arthur are such a good combo. Like, they're so good to get together. Like, such a huge boost, honestly. Like, 20% and 30% is a huge boost from Arthur. So, I very... I'm so happy that they, they have a unit like this in the game because that is crazy. Let's just do this because we win right right here anyway. Uh, and then we'll just see how much he'll do here. 211,000. Not bad. But Arthur, we're going to check him out in PvP as well just because I've seen a lot of good things about him as well for PvP. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it right about now. Alright, so this is my PvP team. Uh, you already know, like, if you guys have been watching me for a long time now uh, playing this game, I've expresses so much that i hate pvp just because i don't like playing this personally that's why i'm on gold five i will push to i was a platinum or diamond whatever at one point i'm just gonna take some time with it but we have escanor and arthur on this team so this team is actually a really good team just because we have buffs and we have gother that gives us our rank ups and then escanor just destroys so we're gonna go, go ahead and check out this team and just see how the pvp goes for this because I, my main my main thing is arthur like for some reason just because I've tried out Arthur in the Merlin boss battle, like, I fell in love with this unit. Like, he, personally, he is really good to me. So, you guys probably don't think that. You guys probably think that he's probably just, like, a, a very mediocre unit. But, personally, I think he's good. So, we're going to check him out right here. We're going to actually do our buffs for him. Just because I want to see what he will do uh, to give everyone a buff. So, let's do that. And then, of course, he's going to buff everyone so it doesn't matter. And then we'll check out Escanor. We're going to have to attack Dien and just see how much damage Escanor will do on Dien right here. So give that boost. Boost to everyone for a good base attack. Oof, 34,000. And this is ungeared too. So if it was geared, he would do a lot more damage. But having just a good boost, 20% for two turns for all allies is super good. And that's the base stat. So that's all attack, HP, and defense. So let's see what goes on right here. Let's see what we can do with this. We have a two-star Arthur attack as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that because now we can't let this man heal. So we don't want uh, we don't want him healing. We don't want uh, this man healing. So let's do another boost. We'll do it on Arthur himself. We do a two-star and then we'll do the Gother attack. So they don't they don't um, attack for they don't attack for two turns basically. I think it's two turns or one turn. I don't remember exactly. Um, oh yeah, I forgot we have to attack Dian. I thought Dian's guard was broken, but that's fine. Uh, let's see how this goes. So we have another rank up. We could, so we could rank up Escanor here, or we could possibly rank up uh, Arthur himself. So then they don't have healing, uh, healing skills for one turn. Um, let's do this. So okay, so we can't do that anymore because they debuffed us. Well, they they did that. They petrified us. Let's do. All right, we're gonna have to take out DN because we need to take. Well. Yeah, let's take out DN first. Let's do that, and then we'll do an attack all, and then we'll do that. Now, we're, I know we're going to take damage from, the, uh, unfortunately, from Meliodas because of his full counter, which is to be expected. That's fine. Hopefully, he doesn't do too much damage. Nah, he didn't do a lot of damage. That's fine. And then we'll have to attack. Boom. All right, so DN is gone. Now, we don't have to worry about her at all, and then we can... Okay, so he has a Merlin, so she can freeze us. So we have to get our ults really quickly, and then we can do our ults for Escanor and Arthur. So both of them will be getting their super soon. Uh, we could possibly do one. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. So, okay, please don't petrify. Okay, good. So no petrify right here, but what we can do is we're going to do... Let's see, let's see, let's see. We need to attack Meliodas. So what we're going to do is give Escanor a boost give that a, a, an attack boost and then we will do an attack all unit just for now and then the next next turn we will use that uh boost up the rank up and we'll see all right so he 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 lost that took him out so we do not have to worry about taking an ultimate from him and then we shall use our ult so oh he's gonna oh, wait can he take out our ults from uh king's ultimate i don't think it does take out our ults it does a lot of damage, though, but he's going to take out the uh, the Gother, most likely. That's most like 100% he's going to take out Gother. Yeah, that's 100% take out Gother, but we still have our ults, so we're good. 
we're gonna go ahead and get hauser now so he's still healing i didn't want him to heal but it it is what it is from this um i'm actually gonna go ahead and do all right so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna be very uh cautious about this I'm gonna do the two star of his ability and then we're actually going to attack yeah we're gonna attack uh let's attack merlin just because let's just see how much escanor is gonna do on merlin so we have the boost really good boost 20% on all allies for the base stats doing 97,000 very very nice and then we'll take out we'll take out king real quick king is gonna be easy now king he can petrify us that's fine uh but we still have hauser and Escanor that will do a lot of damage so he can you can petrify arthur i don't care that's fine we already know you're gonna do that that is fine so what we can do now is do two star one star and then one star so this should do a decent amount of damage it shouldn't finish him off there's no way that would finish him off this Escanor, Escanor can't do cra okay 28,000 all right Escanor did a lot of damage now this if he doesn't okay if he's gonna petrify us again we can't do our ult yeah he petrified us again wow very unlucky very unlucky but that's fine we can just do this we do the one star and we'll do a two star and that's basically this team on pvp with Arthur and Escanor so super crazy uh, very good with each other just because uh, Arthur gives a good boost to Escanor and Escanor is disgusting but we'll check out Escanor by himself we'll do a full comparison between him and the green one uh, but for this one it was basically about uh, basically Arthur just being how good he is for boost his buffs his uh, ultimate and his main attack stats or his main attack which is his first attack so super good in my opinion i think he's probably one of the better units to be running in my opinion but if you guys have anything let me let me know in the comments below if you guys have anything to say about arthur let me know i think personally he's a good unit and hopefully you guys do believe that as well because he has been, he's been very helpful lately uh throughout this whole uh progress of playing the game but if you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys haven't already make sure to drop a like onto today's video guys let's shoot for 30 likes for the boy arthur if you guys are new to the channel you guys haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell button if you guys want to get notified on all my videos on whenever they come out so hopefully check check those future videos out and check out the earlier videos i have done for all these summonings that have been happening for the new year banners but that's gonna do it for today's video guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys